Hi, here's Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. Let's learn how to connect Planner tasks with SharePoint and Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Planner is one of the simplest applications that are included in Office 365 that helps to manage the tasks and projects on the team level. And you can easily integrate this application with all other tool you're using on the daily basis like SharePoint Online on Microsoft Teams. In today's video, I will navigate to you how to bring Planner experience to these applications and help to collaborate with your other colleagues on multiple interfaces that will navigate you directly to the to Microsoft Planner tasks. Before we will move to my screen, I want to ask you to Left your subscription on thumbs up. This is something that's really helped to grow the channel and reach to other viewers. Now we will move to my screen and show you how exactly you can connect Microsoft Planner with other apps. Every time when you're creating Microsoft Group, you can create the planner that will be used by your team to manage tasks. You can build simple buckets to organize them assign them and categorize them based on the labels you will create them. Very simple solution to organize your tasks or manage simple projects. And if you want to work on that with your colleagues, it will be great if you can do that on every possible application or every possible interface you can use. In case of SharePoint, which is connected with this Microsoft 365 group, it is super easy to add the planner to your SharePoint site. The only thing you have to do is go to the new and select add new planner here. In the new window, you can use existing planner and select your planner you want to use on your SharePoint site and just create the link in the navigation. You will be automatically navigates to the planner interface embedded to your SharePoint page when you have exactly the same user interface which is available on the planner application itself. You can also navigate to the charts that shows all important information there and drill down to the planner tasks itself. You can see it is a matter of seconds to deliver that kind of integration. Super easy task and you can add multiple planners to your SharePoint page. The second way how you can bring planner experience to SharePoint is to do that through the page. So if you will create the new empty page you can add the web part which connects to Planner itself. In such case, you can decide which plan from Planner you want to bring to this page and also which interface you want to bring here. You can see that you have few possible screens that you can bring to your page. Of course, you need good business case to bring that kind of experience to the SharePoint page itself. It could be some kind of reporting that you want to deliver to the managers about the progress your team making, but still it's quite easy to do that also on more customizable way using SharePoint pages. Microsoft Teams will be second application when you can easily bring Planner as an extension. You can do that on two levels as a main application available on your left side navigations you can add additional app here. The only thing you have to search here is the planner itself. Task by planner and to do is a new application that bring summary view of the planner to Microsoft Teams. The only thing you have to do is to add it. The application is provided by Microsoft and it's free. Planner application will bring summary view of the apps you have. So this is more task related way of looking for the apps itself. You can navigate through all tasks that are assigned to you. And you're getting also exactly the same look and feel which is available in Microsoft Planner itself. The second way to bring Planner experience to Microsoft Teams is to add it as a tab in your team and you will find exactly the same up there. Task by Planner. The only thing you have to do is to add it and select the plan you want to use. After you will add this tab, you will get Planner Experience bring directly to your Microsoft Teams team and you can manage the whole process of collaboration inside this planner. You get Planner Experience embedded to your Teams so you can switch between the views, you can use the charts, you can use the schedule, so everything you need here. 
this approach is more connected with the collaboration rather than managing your personal task assigned by planner, but both working together will help you to work better with the planner itself. Again, super easy way to integrate planner with Teams. As you've seen, connecting Microsoft Planner with Microsoft SharePoint or Microsoft Teams is very easy. Integration is built in, so you don't have to do many to bring Planner experience to, to other applications. And also this will be something that will help you to collaborate with your colleagues in the most preferable place when they want to work on a daily basis. If you want to improve usage of the planner, also promote that kind of way of using it. So on every preferable place where people prefer to work, maybe it could be SharePoint, maybe Teams will be better. And you can see few clicks will help you to do that. So don't worry about that. Promote planner usage on every platform where it is possible. If you want to learn more about Office 365, in the description of the video you will find the link to my blog. Other videos are also free courses that will help you to learn more about Microsoft 365. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode.